They'll never give up, no matter what happens. Yeah. But probably, I don't know what they're going to do yet. They don't even know themselves. They're just trying to prove to the country that they're in control. I'm Frank Myers. I've lived on this farm for 85 years, worked it all my life. And I don't know why the government wants to throw us off. Where am I going to go? We'll start up a new life at my age. They don't need this land. They got hundreds of acres, thousands of acres. It isn't like buying a house. Get a hut of a house here, you can go a mile over there and buy another house, but you can't buy a farm. There's no more land. They don't build anymore. What, what's going to happen when our land is all gone? Where are we going to get our food? I'm working for the people down the, centuries down the road, years from now. They don't seem to care. Nobody cares. Yeah, it's been in our family for two, over 225 years. So it's a very emotional piece of property to our family. It has a lot of ties to history in this area. And we have a real connection to it. And to have somebody just come in and take it all away is very difficult to deal with. I think the Canadian government needs to take ownership of this and try to fix it. The, there's got to be somebody who can do something. Ultimately, we'd like to keep the farm as long as possible if they even, in fact, use it. Who knows? Um, government's plans change from time to time, and, and we should be able to keep the property until they absolutely need it. Uh, nobody's happy in scenarios like this. Everybody would like the world to remain the way it is for them and for their family forever, but the reality is, is that there is an Air Force base there. There was a decision to, uh, to expand it. It's good for the area, it's not good for a couple of people, and that's, unfortunately, that's where we're at. And I understand how he feels, but it is in the national interest uh, that we proceed with this. The vast majority of my constituents want this to go ahead sooner rather than later because they know the economic implications. This means a lot to this community. Again, Everyone I speak to wants to be sensitive to Mr. Myers, but in the end, this is about jobs and families' incomes and economic development. My, my hope is, and the government's hope is, and I can say that right from the Prime Minister on down, is that we can come to a negotiated settlement. A, at least with a negotiated settlement, there is less anguish involved. It's just like a bully. He's going to have his way no matter what happens. But you're, like you said, the fight's for you, for you the fight's not over. No. It'll never be over, as long as I live.